In a dramatic shift, Saudi Arabia is reevaluating its stance on the Arab Peace Initiative, the API, also referred to by some as the Grand Bargain, amidst discussions on potential normalization with Israel. Until now, Saudi Arabia had held fast to the idea of the API's original 2002 proposal, which set a two-state solution as a precondition for Arab countries to normalize ties with Israel. Recent talks suggest a more pragmatic approach, aiming to explore alternative paths to peace without strictly adhering to these preconditions. They, of course, still pay public lip service to the Palestinians, but this shift indicates that they're ready to put the Palestinians on the back burner in order to achieve their own goals of enhanced economic and technological collaboration, alongside a commitment to regional stability. Things Saudi Arabia desperately needs right now as construction gets underway with their massive megacity project, Neom. Perhaps I should stop saying they when referring to Saudi Arabia and start saying he, since there is no doubt that the crown prince, Mohammed bin Salman, is now the man in charge of the kingdom. His softening stance aligns perfectly with the Abraham Accords which proved that peace agreements could emerge outside the traditional frameworks in which the militant and unsatisfiable Palestinians have always managed to seize center stage. As Christ followers, we know that there will never be lasting peace in the Middle East until Jesus returns and sets up his millennial kingdom. We also know that there is a strong likelihood that these negotiations will eventually lead to the infamous covenant with many, from Daniel 9.27. Could Mohammed bin Salman be the son of perdition who ends up confirming the covenant and launching the tribulation? That's not knowable yet, but he certainly bears watching. And I'll continue doing so with a sharp eye. The world watches closely, believing these developments could redefine the path toward lasting peace and cooperation in the Middle East. We say Maranatha, Come quickly, Lord Jesus. Thank you for watching this quick update. Please take a moment to subscribe to be sure you don't miss important developments at this critical time.